everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing Red Rising review. Non-spoiler. Super excited. Red Rising is, it's like a sci-fi dystopian novel, novel that take, takes place on Mars and um, it follows a young man named Darrow who, um, him and his people are like they're they're earth diggers. They they dig into into Mars to get the materials needed basically to um, make Mars habitable for everyone. The caste system is is divided into colors. Darrow is a red, and reds are the lowest colors. They're basically slaves. At the very the very top are the the gold and most specifically the um, peerless scarred um, so things things in the in the beginning of the book happen to Darrow and his wife and um, that kind of push him into actually seeing how the world is um, how things really are around him <clears throat> And because of that eye-opening experience, he decides that something needs to be done. He he will basically right the wrongs that are being done not to to not only him and his people, but all of the Reds. We begin to uh, follow him into basically his journey um, to right the wrongs that are being done. He gets thrown into this game of sorts where um, the smartest strongest, toughest, most ruthless house can win. And of that house, a premis is basically selected off of a merit system. And the premis who leads his or her, his or her house into victory, basically by enslaving all of the other houses, um, is called the arch premis. And that's the goal of this game not only for your house to win, but one person, only one person can be the arch premise. So only, technically only one person can win. So during this game, we're following several different people all through Darrow's perspective. And we see how he gets to interact with people um, and groups and situations. There is a lot going on. Um, it's not too hard to follow. <laughs> you just gotta, for me, like I just had to slow down a little bit because it was so fast paced in quite a few places that I needed to actually like whoa slow down take your time read this you'll miss something I didn't really see that as a negative though this was a very dark gritty brutal book to me and there were some really tough decisions to make like life or death the shorter version pretty much of this book would be to have a large group of people just throw them together somewhere um, and set up a very, very minimalistic kind of hierarchy like this group is this, this group is this, and like this group is this or whatever and just leave them alone and see what happens. This book to me was not very much like The Hunger Games. I would say like maybe 1% like The Hunger Games. I could see very few similarities between the two. So I would compare it more to like an adult version of Lord of the Flies. This is a fantastic book and I was there every step of the way. This book was just absolutely wonderful and I'm in a, still in a bit of a book hangover. Um, I don't think I'm done really processing everything that happened because this is a very heavy book so I'm gonna need a minute. That is my non-spoiler review of Red Rising. If you have not read it yet go find it somewhere the library, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, just anywhere. Find it somewhere and read it. It's a wonderful wonderful book. I highly recommend it. Uh, however, if you have read Red Rising and you did not like it, let me know. I mean, all opinions are welcome here. I'd like to discuss maybe why you did not like it. Um, no judging. People like things. People don't like things. So it is what it is, right? Alright, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.